Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. What is up, guys? Here it is, your boy Kagi back at it again with a new video. And in this video, I bring you Star Atlas Land, ladies and gentlemen. I did talk to Michael Wagner on live streams and stuff like that. And I said, yo, is there ever going to be planets, lands, and stuff like that? And he always kind of like evaded the question and said, like, yeah, maybe we'll think about it. We have to see how we, but they already knew about this. So, yes, we do have land, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's break it down. Let's actually read through this Medium article and let's get right to it, ladies and gentlemen right to it beautiful 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 look at that look at that imagery imagery oh my god beautiful okay land ownership in star atlas in any mmo world land has always been an important resource in the vast intergalactic star atlas metaverse because of blockchain integration land is much more than something to be farmed or a place to build your barracks for explorers land is what allows you to get ready for space for landowners and producers land is what will help you build your empire each planet is divided into land parts and each parcel is represented as an on-chain NFT, which records the specifics of each parcel, size, borders, location, current ownership, and much more. All buildings are built on something, whether it's a space station or a stable upper crust of a planet, asteroid. Owning land itself opens the player up to possibilities of mining and farming, for example, and to defend the territory. There are many technical aspects about land, but here are some of the main highlights. So number one is land is owned and it can be lost. I don't know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. I really don't know. What does that mean? Does that mean that every single land can be lost? Does it mean that there's safe zones where you can own land, where you can only produce certain type of resources? Or are there, you know, maybe lands in the middle of space where if you own a land there, you got to defend it with your spaceships. Like you got to have a crew all the time, 24-7, because, you know, another guild can come and destroy your land or your, you know, something that you might have in the middle of the space. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but it does open up the possibilities for a lot of things in the game. Star Atlas utilizes innovative land value tax to prevent flipping as well as to incentivize users to make use of their land parcels that's good players can sell land buy land collect taxes or use it as collateral for loans how is that loan gonna work is it gonna be connected to ftx if is ftx gonna provide the liquidity is it gonna be decentralized i imagine it's gonna be some type of decentralized with is it gonna be inside the star atlas that you can take a loan out um is it a peer-to-peer -peer type of thing um where like you put a land um, as collateral and somebody has to accept that offer because there's already platforms like that where you can put like your any nft you could put any nft and you say hey i'm offering this nft um if you guys lend me 10 eth right and then somebody has to accept that offer so somebody with 10 eth might say um well this collectible is worth 20 ETH. so if he doesn't pay me back the 10 eth then automatically that collectible goes to my wallet so there's a lot of people lending money in some of these platforms they're you know they're very basic still but there is there is um, platforms that do that already so how is that gonna work that that's interesting that's interesting is it gonna be inside star atlas um is there gonna be like automatic liquidity like provided by star atlas uh for you to take that collateral i don't know land parcels can be acquired in primary markets through an auction or in secondary markets where land owners can sell their land parcels in exchange for atlas now this auction type of thing um i'm not really a big fan and the only reason i'm not a big fan is because i'm not a i'm not a big whale right so um, i don't have infinite money so it's very very possible that some of these lands are going to go for a very high prices um for sure there's going to be all types of lands right but um it's very possible that they just skyrocket right so we just have to see how that's going to work because i hate auctions i hate it because i just don't have you know millions of dollars to put up front like that to or many many thousands right i, I could have a couple thousands here and there but you know like holy shit you know i don't i don't have the the deep pockets to to go into auction so we'll see we'll see how that works okay now this is something very cool this is like real life regional DAOs and voting rights while building your production empire expect there to be political struggles both within the entirety of star atlas as well as your regional DAO, decentralized autonomous organization to help deal with this star atlas has introduced a mechanism whereby landowners can vote 
in the regional DAO to help better govern the region of the map. For example, landowners in a specific region might put forward a DAO proposal to adjust taxation on certain activities. Voting will be done by staking polis, the game's governance token. Regional DAOs can vote to change, add or abolish policies, military, homeland security, external relations, as well as adjust the budget to better suit the region's need. Owning land is a requirement to vote and each regional DAO vote will affect your relations with other regions, either making things easier, such as importing cheaper supplies from builders or more difficult by voting to impose a high tax on imports. That's crazy. This is crazy. I mean, this is insane. I mean, this game is going to go very, very deep. I'm a little bit worried um, that the game is so, so deep that you kind of get lost in the sauce, right? Um, and this is just like a little kind of worry. Like there's so many things you can do, but it goes very deep. Because one thing is having a lot of things to do, but like very, very high level, you know, very high level things that you can do. Now, one of the things I really want to see Star Alice, I want to see Star Alice kind of go also in the direction of the PvE, right? Like the PV, PvE player, where that player doesn't need to engage necessarily in PvP combat to have fun. They can, you know, explore worlds where they have to kill some type of monster, you know, complete some type of missions, but use your weapons. I want to use weapons. I want to snipe some monsters. I want to snipe something, right? I, I want to kill something, and not necessarily it has to be a player. Now, if they make it PvP as well, zones where PvP, where you can kill other players on the ground, on the battleground, you know, pull out that sniper that they put here. Oh, man, that sniper got me, got me hyped. I'm going to be honest with you. That sniper got me hyped. Where's the sniper? Where's the sniper? Oh, where is it? Right here. Look at that sniper. Look at that sniper. You're gonna tell me right now that you doesn't get too hype. I, I, I mean, what am I gonna be able to do with that sniper? Is it just something that is gonna look cool? I'm not gonna be able to do shit with it. I mean, I wanna kill some shit, right? I wanna kill some shit. So I hope Star Atlas goes that way in some type of way. You know, like things that you can do with your weapons and stuff. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, tomorrow there is a trailer, ladies and gentlemen. And today, if you're watching right now. If you're watching right now, today there is the mini game, ladies and gentlemen. The mini game starts. Um, it's very high level. You know, the first things. You know, you choose your faction and strategize, profile, organize, and prepare, etc., etc., etc. So um, later on, they're gonna expand that mini game um, into different things. And yeah, it starts now. It starts now in a couple hours. So make sure you stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you stay tuned. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.